Welcome to another episode on how to build. Today I will show you how to create or how to make this awesome Stormtrooper helmet using a 3D printer only. I started with this Stormtrooper project last year in October. It was before even I made any YouTube videos. I never thought about filming during the, the process. This is why the printing and also the gluing part is missing in this video. But in my future videos I will definitely include them. So let us start with the STL file. So we go to my favorite website which is Thingiverse and all we need to do is to type Stormtrooper. By the way, the link is in the description below, so you can just click it. I just want to show you how I usually start my projects. I search for something that I really want to do. For example, this one. And you can see already all the files here. This is now the full scale helmet, which is this size. So this is 100% of the scale. It is really big. You can think about scaling it down if you want. And there are also some parts which are sliced, so like these. These are the smaller parts here. So what we need to do is to click on download. And there you go. It is that simple. Once you downloaded the files, you start printing those files and then you glue them together. And then you will find my videos, how I step-by-step step explain you to create this really nice and smooth surface. The first half of the video is about how to sand the surface, how to create this extra nice strength. I use a resin for that. And then the next half of, of the video is focusing on the details. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's go. Just a very quick remark. The sound is really bad. I stopped using this little microphone that I attached to my videos and I'll use this microphone because this is a new one and it's really good. So I'm very sorry for that. In the future videos, there will be much better sound quality. I start at the top without you guys and I'm very sorry for that. But we will do the same thing I did here on the other side as well. We use the wood filler, which is by the way made in Germany. So you can expect some very nice German quality. We take the helmet, we first work on the gaps and it's very hard to work with one hand actually. You squeeze them out like this and you can add a lot it doesn't matter because we will use our hands now to make them even. So all I do is now to push them like this. We also have to work on these areas. As you can see, there is nothing white left on this helmet. I have a bunch of sandpaper with different numbers and we are going to use 180 first and then we can start increasing later on. This is how it looks like after the first round of sandpapering. I was quite lazy and I skipped these parts, all the details. But yeah, I washed them now and I let it dry and I will continue later. I just painted the Stormtrooper helmet with the primer and again it doesn't have to be perfect because we have to continue with the sandpaper and you can see that there are actually a lot of unevenness and holes. After the first round and it is very smooth now. It takes really long time, so I'm going to let it dry because I just wash out all the colors and then uh, all the paints and then I'll continue with the other part. Now this is after one full round of sandpapering and you can see three colors. So the white is from the printed PLA and also we have the wood filler, but also the primer and it feels very smooth already. Now I have an idea how to speed this up. Maybe it works. So these are epoxy resin and I want to use a, I want to brush it over it, the complete helmet and to get this really nice and smooth surface. So I don't know if it works. This is my first time to do it and let's just give it a try. If it doesn't work, we repeat the process with the primer and sandpaper again. And I hope that this works. So I already mixed the resins together in this cup. The problem is that it might drop on the floor. So that's why we put the cardboard and yeah, let's just start. Ah. 
after the resin is dried, it is very tough. It's actually like a real helmet now. Yeah, let's, let's do the next step. Okay, we are going to spray a layer of primer on the helmet and then... So far, I think it's, it's good. Actually, I already did it here a bit just for test and it works perfectly. So I have a little bottle, uh, a bucket of water here and we will start with the sandpaper. Show you around here and it's a mixture of like the resin the wood filler and the primer and i wish you could feel that because it's, it's actually very smooth and also it's very tough what i'm gonna do is because i'm still not quite happy with uh, the result so i'm going to put another layer of primer and repeat the whole process of the sandpapering it takes some time but i want to make sure that it's very smooth we also have to add these little parts in our helmets they are just some small decoration stuff that goes for example here or just some small details I, I believe that this is somewhere on the side but we will check that later for now when we do the priming we just include this as well yo <laughs> Um, I'm gonna let it dry now. Okay guys, now this time we are using 800 and as usual we cut them into a smaller piece again and we do the sandpaper. Now the next step is to spray paint it with a glossy white color. I'm going to put it here and yeah this is for cars and it's very very nice because I think the the shiny look is more suitable for the stormtrooper rather than a matte look and yeah let's just put this on. I wrapped the Stormtrooper helmet with painter's tape and we have to spray paint now this area with black. So here, here, here. And also the, this pattern, I try to use like a scissor to cut them out and, and make these nice lines. And I let's see how it works with the spray paint and also this side and the back side as well. And I have to be a little bit careful here because I was too lazy to wrap in this area with painter's tape but it's not supposed to be black here so I have to just uh, spray from the bottom basically just to be careful and yeah let's do it okay guys we are now finished with the helmet and we are going to peel off the tapes and then we'll see if it's all right or not by the way i'm in my room right now because the other room i'm printing something and i just figured out that while i'm printing it's actually quite noisy so that's why we are doing it here uh, let me just adjust the camera okay so let's go I, I love this process by the way this is like the most satisfying thing ever This is it guys, this is the Stormtrooper helmet and you don't really see any flaws from far away and it is really good. But of course when you go closer you will see the little details here, for example this is bad. And also these lines um, blah, 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 here and also this area for some reason the painter's tape didn't really protect all the areas I wanted to. On the back it looks a bit better. So, especially this one, I really like how it turned out. Um, this is not so good. But again, far away, you don't see any problems. And 
We still have to fix that. So we will use a regular acrylic color and a little brush and then we just paint a little bit over the black area that we want to correct. And I have the cardboard here and then just put a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, for some reason it doesn't work. Second trial, now we are using a permanent marker and let's see if that works. Yes, it works. So there you go. Here. Um, I have to probably repeat uh, another layer once it's dry, but um, permanent marker guys, this is working. I think we leave it like this. I can show you now. This is one example, another one. Of course, if you go really close, you always see a little bit um, of, of the flaws, but overall, I think it is really nice. And also here in this area where the black was covered, now it's totally gone. And we are going to work on this part now. It's going to be gray and black. And for that, I'm also using a permanent marker and this is black. And we have, actually this is not gray, this is silver, but it's okay because um, we don't really see any difference later anyway. And I will show you soon. So I'm going to paint it now with silver first and then black. The next step, these two black buttons, which we have to glue here. And before we do that, we paint these in silver slash gray. The last four parts, we have the two gray parts, which goes right on the side. And then of course, these two buttons, which goes to the front. And we are going to use a normal plastic glue to stick them together. Okay, we are almost there. The helmet and we have transparent color. And this is going to seal the whole helmet and protect the color. So let's spray several layers and I probably have to use the whole bottle. The last step, we have one-sided Miro sheet. Uh, I don't know what they're called, but you guys know what I mean. So you can only see on, on one side if you hold against the light. So for example, like this, you can see through it, but the others can't see you. So we are going to attach this now uh, to the inside because this is now hollow. And then we add some foam. So I have it here already prepared. And we just add these to just make the helmet a bit more comfortable. And we use glue gun for that. Alright guys, this is it. This is the Stormtrooper helmet and I'm very happy how it turned out. And you can't really see my expression, but I'm actually smiling right now. All the details here is, is perfectly done. In my opinion, I, I could have done a little bit better, but I'm very happy how it turned out. It's really big compared to my head, it's much bigger. But the good thing is that you, you can actually breathe and it's very comfortable to wear. I think the print was quite easy and there was nothing really complicated. The only issue is that you have to use a lot of material for the color. So the whole helmet must be primed and then paint, spray paint. And just because it's just so big that it uses a lot of material. But overall, it's, it's a very easy 
build. So these two things are included in the uh, 3D models. I did not use it. You can use it to attach it to the eyes area like here, like so, but I don't think I need that, so. Very simple. And this is it guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this. And let me show you my next project, a little sneak peek. So I have this one. So this is actually the Stormtrooper Blaster, so the E11. And I'm going to record everything in detail, so stay tuned and yeah, see you next time.